So the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. There's some good news for the people of the United States. I want to address what is going on and give you the economic outlook moving forward into 2023. Now, here's what I can tell you. A lot of people have been speculating about what's going on. How are the American people being impacted? How is the U.S. economy going to benefit from what has been going on over the past two weeks? Well, we have some reports on that. Most people uh, that I've talked to then tell them that this is good news. What has gone on over the past two weeks, or really ever since uh, you know, right before Christmas, this is really good news. And they all ask me the same thing. Where are you seeing good news? Well, here it is. It's a little bit complicated, but this is good news. Now, the truth is that the good news isn't happening today. What is happening today is going to create uh, a better tomorrow. This is what we know. Since about December 22nd, 2022, we have seen a lot of the United States just get pounded and hammered with precipitation. This includes rain and also snow. Now, on top of that, it wasn't just one storm. It was multiple storms. We saw that the East Coast got hammered with an immense amount of snow, which unfortunately, uh, it took lives. Uh, it damaged property. It disrupted holiday travel. And it was a major pain. But for farmers, this is actually a really welcome sign. In California, just recently, beaches got wiped away. We saw streets get, get flooded. Uh, there were some uh, dwellings that came down, right? But all of this has farmers ecstatic, not because of the damage or the loss of life, but because of the rain, because of the water, because of what it did to the reservoirs. It helped refill reservoirs. We saw uh, the, the water levels in uh, streams and rivers. It went up, it increased. We've even seen the recent uh, you know, snowpack results. California is sitting at 174% of its normal uh, historic averages for this time of the year. That's good news. This is actually the third largest snowpack on a record. Yeah, it's good news. I wanna show you this chart though. Look at this. Here's this chart. Now, you can see in this one right here, this is the, the water drought for the United States. This is as of January 3rd. This one right here, this is for December 27th, 2022. Now, if I put them side by side, you can see that there's really no dark red over in California on the one on the left. The reason why is because that's an exceptional drought. There's no more, but look at this. I'm going to change this. Okay. I'm going to change this one right here. I want to show you one year ago. One year ago is January 4th, 2022. Look at that. Okay. Now let me go back just a handful of months. Okay. Let me go back to, let's go to, um, May 3rd. Okay. Look at that. Okay. It's again, Let's go back to, um, let's go back to August 2nd. Look at that. Look at the exceptional drought in California, but look at the drought in Nevada. Look at the, the exceptional drought in uh, Utah, right? And then we can keep going over, All right? Let's go to September, okay? We can even update it. We will go back to October. Okay. You see that exceptional drought to the southern part of, the, of uh, California. That, that's, that's hurting farmers. Right? Let's go back even to November 1st. Okay? You can see it right there. Then we'll also change it. Let's go December. Okay? And then again, this is just from, and I will go, we will click on December 20th. Okay? Look at the difference. <laughs> it's a big difference. Okay, that is a big, big difference. That's a major difference. Now, you probably think that's not a huge difference. We still have this drought. If it would work, there we go. We do still have a drought, right? But this is good news. 
This is actually good news for farmers, uh, and it's also good news for the American people. One of the biggest issues we saw in 2022 was inflation. But one of the biggest um, you know, costs for the American people was food. It was food and energy. Those prices rose like crazy, right? But it, being that food was one of the indexes that rose the most, it had a lot to do with what we were spending. So the, the nice thing now is we are going to be relying on hopefully other countries to supplement the food that we've been losing here in the United States because farmers cannot grow the crops that we need. The supply here in the U.S. doesn't fulfill the demand that we currently have. That's a problem. Now, one thing that uh, you know, experts say is a lot of this had to do with climate change here in the U.S. As it got hotter, farmers struggled to keep their crops alive simply because they had a decreased amount of water. Well, this could all change all because the past two weeks. That's actually really good news. Now, according to the state officials out of California, they say, and this was just today, it is still uh, way too early to tell how much these storms will impact the drought situation here in the state. But the reports indicate that we are ahead of recent years averages. This is good. So this is all very good news. Now, obviously with some good news, there's always some bad news. What is the bad news out of California? Well, the bad news that we are hearing today is that California state officials said they did not um, have the ability uh, because of uh, really infrastructure. They didn't have the ability to capture the, the rainwater. And so what happened is billions of gallons of rainwater washed from the streets back into the ocean, back into the seas. That's a problem. We couldn't capture it. We couldn't hold on to it. We didn't have the reservoirs, right? Now, we didn't have the, the levees broke. Uh, there was, I think, believe there's two, maybe there's more. I believe there's two levees that did break. Um, and based on recent statements from lawmakers, they say we will attempt to pass, pass legislation this year in 2023 that will greatly improve funding towards rainwater capture. That is something we are looking forward to. So there, there is some good news coming out of California that they are going to attempt to capture more rainwater because they are expecting they're going to get more rain in the coming years. So one thing I can tell you is we are looking forward to this. Uh, I do not live in California, but one thing I can tell you is if California struggles, because California produces, I believe, about a third of all of our um, vegetables, and they also produce about 75% of fruits and nuts for the, the entire United States. So because of that, because you know, obviously we need to eat fruits, you know, vegetables, you know, you know, nuts as well, I guess. Um, but because of all that, it does increase the cost if California can't do it. Because then we got to get all of our produce from someplace else, potentially another state, but most likely another country. Again, it all adds up. So this is some great news. This is the moment we've been waiting for that California is now somewhat out of this drought. Now, even though the map doesn't show that California is out of the map, we would prefer California to be 100% white, um, like uh, you know some states you know, over here, uh, because this would mean there's, there's no drought, but unfortunately, there's still a lot of red. So until California can turn uh, a little bit more white or at least get into that yellow region, that's what we're looking for. So as we get more information as to when that happens, if that ever does happen, I will bring you the latest news and updates as soon as we get it. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.